It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And I am back in La Mesa. Five weeks ago, we planted these entry pots. And this has been such a wonderful teaching tool. I've reported on these a couple of times over the last five weeks, because La Mesa is hot. And this has been a very warm summer. And we have pots in full sun and we have other pots that are in the deeper shade by the front door. So together we're gonna take a look and see how everything is doing. This trio of full sun pots looks spectacular. We've got what appears to be the possibility of a crest forming on this Echeveria Sahara. Very dense babies coming here on that leaf, which makes me very happy. But look, this is full, full sun. Look how thrilled this Echeveria Sahara is to be here. I've been coming over once a week to do the watering. We had uh, rain last night, a lot of rain. But just because you have rain, don't assume the plants got wet. Check your soil. If it's dry, meaning that if you test, if you push down on the soil and your finger comes back, dry or without a lot of debris or detritus, chances are very good that this plant could definitely use some water and it's, it is, it's very dry. So I'm going to go ahead and give this Bacarnia a drink. Just until you see the water running out of the bottom, that's fine. We'll go ahead also, water all the full sun pots since I've tested the soil and it's pretty dry despite getting some rain. Now after five weeks, these plants that have basically been in pretty heavy shade are still looking really great. This is interesting, this cotyledon uh, orbiculata. This is a very, very full sun plant, but it's also super tough. So I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a shot in the shade and look at how it's throwing off little green branches and leaves that are kind of weak and, and thin. So I'm gonna to continue to monitor this plant. This is kind of odd behavior, and I'm not quite sure how that is going to go down long term. But overall, after five weeks, I'm really, really excited about the condition of these pots haven't run up against any pests or diseases. Uh, these have needed minimal water here in the, uh, in the shadier area, but everything's doing superb. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity checking in in La Mesa with your succulent tip of the day.